Mark. Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2009 model Holden Astra diesel hatchback. We'll start off at the front of the car. As you can see, finished in a mid-blue, uh, really attractive chrome grille running through the front. We've got uh, factory driving lights down in the bottom of our front bumper. And apart from a few minor little touch-ups, just from some stone chips on the bonnet, the presentation's very good overall. As we come around to the driver's side, factory alloy wheels, as you can see, brand new tyres on the front, um, colour-coded outer mirrors and outer door handles, and the presentation coming down the driver's side, you know, for, for the age of this particular car, presents really well. It, it is important to note, a couple of minor little scratches just on our... Uh, on our alloy wheels, um, just consistent with maybe rubbing up against the gutter at some stage. As we come around to the rear of the car, um, presents very well again. A lot of chrome running through the tailgate, just gives it a little bit of class about it. Tinted rear window, high mount stoplight in our tailgate. Uh, once again, a few minor little cosmetic scratches just on the top of our, our uh, rear bumper bar. Once again, consistent with the age and, and having you know, cargo taken in and out of the car. Paying attention to the rear tyres as well, it looks like that we've actually put brand new tyres on this car all round. So uh, you can rest assured, tons of Ks in the uh, in the tyres being brand new. And, and the presentation, as you can see, as we scan down the uh, passenger side of the car, um, really impressive with its presentation. So quite happy with the exterior of this so back car. Back around to the front of the car now. We'll have a little bit of a chat about the performance of this little car. Um, lightweight bonnet right up out of our way. As I mentioned earlier, this is a diesel motor. So 1.9 litre diesel, giving us 88 kilowatts of power, 280 newton metres of torque, um, but the economy, that's the big one with this car. Seven litres combined per 100 k's. So even though it's a quite a small fuel tank in this car, 52 litres, still going to get you in excess of 740 kilometres to a tank of diesel. Back around at the rear of the little Astra now, simple matter of just pushing on our little button to release the, uh, the hatch and still a fairly good little storage area in the back of the car for you know a compact little hatchback. Uh, we've got our cargo, um, cargo shelf as well which just obscures everything that we've got stored in the back and in the event we need additional room we can just drop the second row seats down like we have with one side um, just to give us additional storage room in case we need it. So inside the Astra now presents really well, it's really clean the interior. On our driver's armrest all of our power window and our power mirror controls and directly up above that our headlight controls with our buttons for our driving lights just adjusting headlight height and things like that if needed. Moving to the steering wheel, which is height and reach adjustable. Set ourselves up where we're nice and comfy. Just lock it away into position by the lever on our left. Good thing about this car, it's only done 55,000 kilometers, so really good case for its age. On our steering wheel, we've got our audio controls just at our fingertips to adjust station and volume if needed. Uh, and then moving into the center section, we've got a little readout screen here, which just gives us uh, average fuel consumption, distance to empty, and all of that sort of information about the car itself. Moving down below that, we've got our, uh, our head unit for our audio system, AM, FM radio, CD player, MP3 compatible as well, and then all of our climate control, air conditioning, and heating below that as well. Uh, it is a six-speed auto, this car, so we can just drive it as a normal automatic or move it across into uh, manual mode, and just change through the gears manually off the stick if you wish to. Behind that, just a uh, our handbrake and a small auxiliary input there, plus a cup holder directly behind. Uh, and the other important thing to look at inside this car is the condition of the interior. The seats, the carpets, the door trims, everything presents really well. Um, impressed with the way this car has been looked after. Does have six airbags, this car and also has a five-star ANCAP safety rating, so extremely safe car as well. The last thing to touch on um, is the service history in this car, and uh, more so serviced by uh, intervals rather than Ks, because it's uh, such low Ks, this car. 
So all of the services have been carried out, the majority by Ballarat Holden, um, all the way through uh, the history of the car. We've done a current intermediate service on it as well. So you can rest assured from a mechanical point of view that this car is spot on. Just in summary, really impressive little motor car. 1.9 litre turbo diesel, uh, giving us 7 litres combined per 100 k's. 5 star ANCAP safety rating, really low k's for its age, 55,000 k's. Uh, take the opportunity to possibly own a stunning little motor car. Call us on 9907 0555. Thank you.